A lot of interest on social media from a story we broke this weekend about claims of hotels price gouging in the lead up to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's right. And tonight, a lot of folks are coming forward with, with some complaints. Our very own Ashley Johnson, she's been working on this story for the past couple of days, talking about a huge problem for people out there trying to come here. Ashley? Well, Ron, as you can imagine, it's a major problem. I spoke with people who feel ripped off by Airbnb. Well, now, we weren't able to link up with them tonight. They say their reservation was canceled, and then they were given a price that was double the original price. But first, I want to share a response Patriots fan Michael Jackman received since my original story. If you go to Hotels.com, the website Michael Jackman originally used to make his reservation, the Country Inn and Suites near Turner Field is sold out, but was going for $1,000 a night for Super Bowl weekend. A far stretch from his reservation he made eight months ago at $536.70 for two nights. Originally, we didn't name the hotel, which is owned by Radisson. The company told me today it's looking into the matter. I have made alternate arrangements now. They were quite a bit more inconvenient than I originally had. Here's the response he got from Hotels.com via chat. Just got off the phone with the property and they were able to confirm the system glitch happened on their end. Get this, an emoji frowny face, but pretty much saying nothing can be done and that he must cancel or be charged a penalty. Uh, it's, just, it's just inconceivable to me that they could expect me to pay a penalty or pay anything. They should be paying me for the convenience. The last few days have been extremely stressful to me. Now we're hearing of similar complaints with Airbnb. And we reached out to Airbnb and are waiting for a response. Sadly, in cases like this, there's not much someone can do. You really have to look into a company's terms and conditions, and they have all of that on their website. Ron and Natisha, back to you. All right, Ashley, thanks for being on top of this story for us. Thanks.